In this tutorial, we're going to create a hex nut and thread it in the part design workbench using the subtractive helix tool. So we've got the part design workbench open. We're going to create a new file, a new body, and a new sketch. We're going to create it on the YZ plane. We're going to grab this tool right here. Make sure we've got it anchored to the center. Select the side here. Make it vertical. And let's set the width of these two points to 1.6 inches. And we'll position that down here. Now let's close the sketch and pad the sketch and let's pad it to 0.6 inches. Now let's toggle our axis on view toggle axis. Now we're going to turn so we can see this face. We're going to click the face. We're going to create a new sketch. And we're going to use the circle tool. Make sure it's anchored to the center. Diameter is unimportant at this point. And we close. Now with the circle selected, let's rename that sketch, rename circle sketch. And while we're at it, let's rename this pad, nut pad. Now with the circle sketch selected, let's click on this tool right here, the pocket tool. And we're going to make sure that goes all the way through. And we're going to change the diameter to one inch. Now let's change our view to the front view. And we're going to create a new sketch. We're going to create that on the XY plane. This is going to be our thread cutter. We get our poly tool. We start down here below the Y axis. Create a horizontal line. Come down another horizontal line and back up. Next we select these two lines. Make them equal. Next, we select the top horizontal line, and we want to make that width 0.125 inches. Let's zoom in. Get our dimension. Park it over here. Now let's get the bottom horizontal line. And make its width 0.125. 030 inches and reposition that dimension. There we go. Next, we want to set the height of our thread cutter. We'll select this point and this point and constrain that to 0.120 inches. So now we've got the basic shape of our thread cutter. Next, we're going to position our thread cutter. To do that, we're going to begin by clicking here to create a construction line. And remember, construction lines uh, have no effect on the model. They're only used for reference. We'll need to get the line tool, create our horizontal reference line right here, construction line. Note that it's blue to distinguish it from the normal geometry. 
The next thing we want to do is create or set the distance, I should say, from these two points vertically. We're going to set that distance to 13.5 thousandths. One, three, point five. And let's clean up our dimensions a little bit. Put that there. And next we're going to set the distance from this end of the construction line vertically to the center of the nut. And that dimension will be 0.5 inches. Now let's clean up the dimensions just a little bit for clarity. We'll put this guy here. That looks good. Now we've got one more dimension to set from this corner of the thread cutter to the center of the nut right here. Horizontal. We'll make that 0.1 inches. It's an arbitrary distance. Just want it clear of the nut. So it'll be moving to the right, cutting into the nut, cutting the grooves. Reposition this dimension for convenience. Now we should have the thread cutter positioned about 13.5 thousandths above the hole in the hex bolt. That means the remainder of the thread cutter tool will be grinding into the metal and creating the threads. Let's close the sketch. You can see the thread cutter here. Let's make sure we've got it selected. Let's come over and click on the subtractive helix tool right here. And we want this to be oriented along the x-axis. We want the pitch to be 0.125 inches. That's eight turns per inch. And we want to thread all the way through the nut. And remember the nut was 0.6 inches uh, thick. And so we're going to make the threads about 0.8 because we're starting about one-tenth outside the nut and we want to go all the way through. Let's click OK. Give it a minute. And let's see what we get. Indeed, there is our threaded nut.